Right, hello, welcome to my first little painting tutorial. Uh, we're going to be painting ultramarine blue armour on this little chap. Um, the first step is to spray paint it black, get it all ready. Um, you know, we'll assemble it obviously, but apart from that. Um, we're starting off with McCrag blue. Now I need to thin it down to like breaking point just. And then start with three really thin layers. So this is the first layer, really thin down, get it on there, let it dry. Second layer on, get it all over there, let it dry. Get the third layer on, and this is going to give you a really, really thin but solid base coat. And there we go, that's all three layers on. It preserves all the detail, but gets a nice solid base coat on. Next step, get Drakenhof Nightshade, Lamy and Medium, 50-50 mix. And a couple of drops of matte varnish. I pre-prepare a big pile of it and then slap it all over it. Um, so try and stop it pooling in the recesses to so do a nice even coat um, and stop it you know, being excessive. So as you can see here it's a nice even coat all over but it's not excessive. Now I am sorry about the autofocus in this video. I've tried my best but it's hard with the setup I have. But here we go. Look, nice solid coat. It's dark in the recesses, but it's not too extreme. Next step, McCrag Blue. Again, thin down. Now we're going to be glazing it. So on here, to sort of aim for the tops. So we're doing sort of volumetric lighting. So end, start with the brush stroke like in the middle and end at the top. So you, it's going to be denser pigment where you take the brush off the leg. Um, so as you can see, I'm sort of going on and pulling up, like here. Yeah, so there we are, in the middle, pushing up. So it's just to create a little bit of a, a gradient on the leg. Now because it's so thin, it's just going to dry thin. Um, so we're going to do a couple of coats of this. So maybe start you know, midway up, and then a third of the way up, and then the very top. But next step, we're going to get McCrag Blue and Cowgar Blue, 50-50 mix. Um, I keep a pre-mixed little bottle as here because um, it's easier because I use this mix all the time and I'm doing a chunky edge highlight all over the edge, edges of the panels so as you can see here doing around the top edge um, and then on these little nubbins here so you go around all the edges a thick edge highlight and now this needs to be thinned with water as with the rest of the paints but not as thin as a glaze so just thin so it flows easily off the brush. Um, yeah, so just go around all the edges and do that. Now I'm also sort of uh, doing these lines of shine. I'm sort of putting them in here. Um, the best way to sort of figure out where these go is look on under a lamp where it sort of reflects and sort of copy that. Um, yeah, it's more in depth than that, but here we go. So I've done it all around the panels. Um, done around the edges and that's it next step Calgar blue on its own and now we're going to do a slightly thinner edge highlight inside the chunky edge highlight so go around everywhere you did the chunky one again I'm sorry about this uh, autofocus um, but yeah everywhere you did the chunky highlight go in there smaller so you can still see that chunky highlight and just follow it all around. Um, apart from the line of shine, don't go to the very end of it. Only go down a little bit of it. Up to about there. Yeah. So here we go. You can still see the chunky, but we've got the Cargar blue sort of I can't remember. inner, smaller, tinier. Next step, we're gonna do Fenrisian Grey. Now this is not all around, it's just on the tops and the corners of the panels. So like here on the foot, here on the little nubbin thingy, like round there in the corner, that's where we're going to put it. So, oh, there we go. Yeah, so like up here in the little ball thing. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so just on the top edge, not all around it. 
and then here on the corner just in the corner to try and follow the thinner edge highlight you did and um, still leave the others showing so if you do this all the way around focus on the tops and the corners tops and the corners and yeah and again with the line of shine don't go all the way to the bottom so go say you did the thinner one a third do this one halfway or something whatever just so it's smaller still and there you go that's all of that one done and then moving on to blue horror so it's an even brighter blue so this is going to be even smaller in the same areas but even smaller so I'm sorry with the framing as well my framing and autofocus on this it's my first time right so it's even smaller inside the previous highlight so it's on the top even smaller still and down there with the um, line of shine so you can see how it's just at the top now um, and then there on the corner so it's little teeny tiny but yeah like that so it gives a little gradient on all the edges and there we go that's it finished so you can see it's starting to really um, pop now because of all those different steps next final one is Ulthuan Grey I think that's how you say it so this is for point highlights so this is on the tops and the corners so I like to put this first Ulthuan Grey one all the tops all the corners uh, follow around the model like all the sharpest bits it really especially on these older ones with the um, sort of less defined edges it helps give a sharp edge even if it's not necessarily there it will look sharp because of this so don't go over the top but put them on all the edges like this and there we go that's that done so next step is to do a glaze so I have my glaze mix um, I use a couple of different paints for it so I do a one to one to one mix of Ultramarine's Blue Contrast Paint Contrast Medium, Lamia Medium and some drops of matte varnish um, I mix that all together and then glaze over it's very thin um, and it unifies all the colours together into a uniform blue um, it's very good at um, making the colours work together a bit better as well and it makes it one sort of unified piece so that's the glaze on make sure it's thin, doesn't pull and there it is dry so you can see it sort of unifies all the colours together makes the edges work better as well however it's dulled down those point highlights so I like to do this final step which is another thing of all through in grey and then just the tops not the corners just the tops it gives it the final final edge highlight so there we go there's a the top there's a the top there there's a the top there yeah so it's just the tops and it makes it just a little bit brighter you don't want to go overboard because it will look silly so just the tops but it will sing once you do this it's my favorite stage because it just oh it makes the model sing obviously you'd be doing this over the whole model not just his little leg but for this tutorial i just did his leg now yeah yeah can tell I'm recording this as a voiceover, not doing it live. Look, there we go. That's it, all done. Now we've got one final step. This is optional, but it protects the model. Ultra matte varnish from AK Interactive. Protects the model and it unifies the finish. So if you're using different colours, it makes them all the same finish. So, yet again, thin, even application over the whole thing, um, but not letting it pool or anything like that and make sure absolutely vital shake the varnish shake it thoroughly um, if you don't it won't be matte but there you go look unified matte finish uh, it really just makes it sing uh, it looks professional all the professional painters do use this so I nicked it off them but there you go thank you so much for watching my little tutorial um, please like subscribe and all that um, let me know in the comments and yeah, see you next time. Bye. Bye.